Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. With me Sir Afif. Okay, we are going to continue chapter 3 atomic structure. Okay, this is lesson 14. The discovery of electron. In 1897, Joseph Joe Thompson found a subatomic particle that is carrying a negative charge. The discovery proved that atom can be divided as described in Surah Sabah chapter 34 verse number 3. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this verse that man cannot hide anything from him during the judgment day even if it is smaller than an atom. This is the verse number 3 of Surah Sabah which means but those who disbelieve say the hour will not come to us. Say yes by my Lord it will surely come to you. Allah is the knower of the unseen not absent from him is an atom's weight within the heavens or within the earth or what is smaller than that or greater except that is it is in a clear register therefore an atom can be split as explained by ibn sina thousand found electron okay, 12,777 years after allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in al-quran that there are actually substances which are smaller than atom. As you know, uh, atom consists of proton, neutrons, and also electron. Later in 1962, Gelman found the smallest sub particles that is called squark, okay, with a size of one exponent negative 18 per meter. Several squarks bound together to form a proton in a nucleus by Riordan 1992. 3.1 Bohr's Atomic Models At the end of this topic, students should be able to A. Describe Bohr's Atomic Postulate B. Explain the existence of electron energy levels in an atom C. Describe the formation of the line spectrum of hydrogen atom and D. Differentiate between line spectrum and continuous spectrum as you can see in this slide, this is the picture of Nice Ball, which uh, is a Danish physicist. And this is the Bohr's model, which he proposed. We, as you can see, in this Bohr's model, we have nucleus, electron that is circulate with, uh, within the orbit. Okay, and then the orbit is also called as energy levels. Bohr's atomic postulate. Postulate means suggest or assume the existence, facts or truth of something as a basis for reasoning. Number one, electron moves in circular orbits like in this GIF, file GIF over down here as you can see. Number two, the energies associated with electron motion in the permitted orbits must be fixed in value or quantized and determined by the quantum number for example n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on number 3 when the atom absorbs energy the electron is excited to a more energetic orbit or in other words to upper or to higher orbit this formula en energy equal to negative rh rh is the Rybert constant 1 over n square. Rybert constant has the value of 2.1 a exponent negative 18 joule. The number n is an integer called the principal quantum number. It has the values of n equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Once electron excite to the higher energy level, it will not stay there for a long time. So it will, it will go back to the ground energy level and it will release a radiant energy and radiant energy called photon photon is emitted when the electron moves from a higher energy state ei to a lower energy state ef the difference in energy between energy levels is this formula delta e is equal to ef e final minus e initial and then when you derive and all this, you will get the final one is delta E equal to RH, Rybert constant, 1 over Ni square minus 1 over Nf square. The ground state of the atom. The ground orbit with the lowest energy, N equal to 1. 
is a closed path of a strictly defined energy in which an electron rotates around the nucleus, which means the orbit that is the nearest to the nucleus. Excited states of the atom. Excitation of an electron is the transition of an electron from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. Energy can be supplied to an atom by means of higher temperature and electrical discharge or bombardment with high energy radiation. So now let's look at light emission. Okay, we have two types of light emission, absorption and also emission. Absorb, absorption, okay, the excitation energy necessary for the transition of an electron from a lower from a lower to a higher energy level is equal to the difference between two energy levels. While emission, the energy of the emitted photon is equal to the difference between the higher energy level and the ground energy level. As you can see, absorption here from lower to higher emission from higher to lower. This is the example, as you can see. Electron, let's say this is electron at the first energy level or the first orbit. It absorbs energy and then the electron will undergo excitation and it will go from lower to higher. Let's say from first orbit, first energy level to the second energy level. And this is the, the excitation or the emission. As you can see, the electron, okay, electron here will release an energy called photon and then it will de-excite, it will go back to the ground state here. So, in terms of graph, as you can see, in this graph, okay, from higher to lower emission, from lower to higher absorption. This is quantum staircase. Uh, as in the McGraw Hill books, as you can see, this is the stationary state, the ground state, n equal to 1, and it goes absorption, absorb energy, and will excite to the higher energy level. And then once, okay, once excite, it will go back to the ground state and will undergo emission and it will emit a photon. Now let's look at the types of spectra. The first one is the continuous spectra. When white light from an incandescent lamp is passed through a prism, it produces a continuous spectrum or we call as rainbow colors. The different colors of light represent different wavelengths. All wavelengths are present in a continuous spectrum. As you can see in this slide, this is the example of a continuous spectrum setup. The second type of spectra is line spectra. If the light from a gas discharge tube containing a particular element is passed through a prism, only narrow colored lines are observed. Each line corresponds to light of a particular wavelength. The pattern of emitted by an element is called its line spectrum. As you can see, an emission spectrum is usually discontinuous. There are some spaces between them, okay, and with different color. So this is the example of the line spectrum setup. So as you can see on the photographic plate, okay, it will show the line spectrum. Okay, this is the example of line emission spectrum of hydrogen atoms. Okay, emission spectra of some common elements. So in this slide, it shows to you hydrogen, sodium, helium, neon, and mercury. As you can see, each elements have different emission spectra. In this chapter, we will only focus on emission lines for the hydrogen atom based on nice ball hydrogen atom model. So as you can see in this slide, Let's say the middle, in the middle one is the nucleus. As you can see, the first orbit is the ground 
energy level or ground state n equal to 1 second n equal to 2 3 4 and so on lah, until infinity so the first one okay Lyman series from the ground state is n equal to 1 okay from n2 to n1 n3 to n1 n4 to n1 and and infinity to n1 and then we have Balmer series for Balmer series as you can see the ground state of Balmer series is not n1 anymore but n equal to 2 so all this electron okay uh, going back to n2 not n1 for Pasteur series okay the ground state for Pasteur series is n3 okay Different series have different ground state. Five series of line spectrum in hydrogen atom. We have five series. First is Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket, and Pifan. Each series has different ground state. So when it have different ground state, meaning that it will have a different first line. Okay, from N2 to N1. Okay, region. For Lyman is ultraviolet, Balmer visible light, Paschen, Bracket and p fan can be found in infrared region. Okay, let's look at what do we mean by the, the first line of each series. For example, for Lyman series, okay, for Lyman series, as we know, the ground state of Lyman is N1. So, the first line of Lyman series is from n2 to n1 so this is the first line first line from n2 to n1 what about second line it will be from n3 to n1 so this is the second the second line of Lyman series so what about the third line of Lyman series? So it will be from N4 to N1. So this is the third line of Lyman series. Balmer series, as we know, the ground state of Balmer series is N equal to 2. So mean that the first line of Balmer series is N, N3 to N2. Second, line is n4 to n2 so the third line is n5 to n2 Pasteur series the ground state of Pasteur series is n equal to 3 so the first line will be from n4 to n3 second line will be n5 to n3 and then the third line will be n6 from N6 to N3. Okay, bracket series. The ground state of bracket series is N equal to 4. So, from, meaning that the, the first line is from N5 to N4. N6, second line will be N6 to N4. And the third line will be N7 to N4. And lastly, the series for hydrogen atomic uh, spectrum is p fan series so p fan series have energy uh, energy sorry ground state of n equal to 5 so the first line will be n6 to n5 and then the second one will be the second line will be n7 to n5 formation of spectral line formation of the third line in the balmer series Balmer series have ground state, ground state of N equal to 2. Electron from lower energy level, Balmer N equal to, equal to 2, absorb energy and excited to a higher energy level. As we know, the third line in the Balmer series N equal to 5. At excited state, the electron become unstable, then fall back to the lower energy level and emitted energy in a form of line For example we draw the energy level diagram n2 
and 3 and 4 and 5 so this is the energy level okay so for the first line of balmer is n3 to n what n3 to n2 so this is the first line so third line will be from n5 to n2 so once electron excites it will fall back to its ground state and this line is actually the emitted energy which we call as a photon or in the form of line position of spectral series can us humans see all series with the hydrogen atomic spectrum with the naked eye no only Balmer series we can see with naked eyes because it falls in the visible region. In the visible region. Other than that, we cannot see with the naked eye. Lyman series, it falls under ultraviolet. Pustion, bracket and p it fall under infrared. 